Good morning. It's Monday of Holy Week, March 29th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled Fans, Friends, and Followers, and our scripture is John's Gospel, Chapter 12. Some Greeks who had come to Jerusalem for the Passover celebration paid a visit to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee. They said, Sir, we want to meet Jesus. Philip told Andrew about it, and they went together to ask Jesus. Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. Nobody wants to be stuck in a category labeled like a cut of beef in a grocery store display. But the fact remains, we label ourselves by our actions. When it comes to Jesus Christ, the labels are fans, friends, and followers. Sometimes the line between these is a little blurry. Let's clear the air. Fans are those who read the press reports and box scores. They're interested in a curiosity sense, wanting to know all about what this sensation Jesus is up to. It is, after all, quite a fascinating thing to see people who were lame for 38 years jump up and dance into the temple. Then there are friends. These are those who want to be a little closer, like the Greeks who talked with Philip. They wanted to know more. Today we call them seekers. They want to meet Jesus. There might be a motive in the background, a thought that connects their dots on what life holds for those who follow Jesus around. Then there are followers. They move a little closer, hanging around to see what happens. They choose to get involved so they won't miss a single tweet or text or email. There's a sense that there might be some great benefit just around the next miracle that'll put them in a higher category, some new membership bonus, something like frequent flyer miles that you want to pack away for a spiritually rainy day just in case. Now, if that isn't enough in the categories of spiritual life choices, there is one more, but it's something of a hot-to-the-touch variety. The label is Christian. Whoa, time out. What's so out there about Christian? Aren't there a lot of them? Well, yes, but not as many as are reported on the census taker's final tally. There are quite a few fans, friends, and followers, but it takes more than being raised in a preacher or deacon's home to actually qualify as Christian. It takes the transformation Jesus offers when a person chooses to lay aside all his prerogatives and serve Jesus. Another word for this category is disciple. It is that willingness to take the back seat rather than jump into the pilot's chair. It's choosing to serve rather than be served. It's the cross rather than being the chief. Without the proactive decision to give up my way for his way, no one is a Christian. Jesus said so. Mark chapter 10. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first among you must be the slave of everyone else. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. In 21st century culture, we're big on having choices. iPhones or Androids, virtual or in-person, even Burger King offers to have it your way. One way that culture and Christ agree is that whether or not we become disciples of Jesus Christ is definitely a matter of choice. There are those who go to church, they sing in a choir, give some money into the offering plate, and even preach a sermon. That doesn't make anyone a Christian, any more than a cat 
living in an abandoned field and sleeping in an old rusted stove make him a biscuit? That's just a matter of location and activity, not answering the call to serve the Master. For you today. So, the question almost begs itself. Are you a fan, a friend, a follower, or a disciple? Choose. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.